I have a problem. I think I'm becoming addicted to making videos. I should be mowing the lawn right now. I should be using the electric weeder. All right. So let me just do this one last thing that's on my mind. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before I was reading reading about Einstein's theory. I've been trying for so many years to understand it, but uh, there's this article uh, by PBS that seems to explain it very simply so I can understand it, and it's related to us and our health and our diets and our body's condition. Okay, Einstein's big idea energy and mass are interchangeable. They are different forms of the same thing. Under the right conditions, energy can become mass and mass can become energy. So what am I thinking of about mass? I'm thinking of our flesh, our excess weight, I'm thinking mainly of the abdomen, which seems seems like the first thing that sticks out when it should be flat when we've eaten too much or when we when we're over our ideal weight. Okay, so think about that. Our fat is the mass, our energy is produced by exercise. Like a beam of light bound up in a tiny walnut. If you convert part of the walnut to pure energy, it will result in an energy moving at the speed of light. Pure energy is electromagnetic ra radiation. In other words, something we can't see energy. We can't see energy. They can hook you up with all kinds of electrodes, but they can't see what you're thinking. Okay, da 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 da. da. Resulting in the speed of light, pure energy. Okay. Whether it's light or x-rays or whatever, it's traveling at 186,000 miles per second. If you take a paper clip, where's my paper clip? You take a paper clip, well, here's two of them stuck together. Take a paper clip and convert it into pure energy it will create 18 kilotons, kilotons of TNT. But in order to do that, you'd need more heat and more pressure than the center of our sun, S-U-N, the sun. That's it. So let me put this in simpler terms because some people say I'm smart. But I'll tell you what, it's very slow. When I was in, in um, junior high and high school, I was smart enough to get into the honors classes, but I could only get a C. Why? Because it took me the whole semester to understand. But once I understood, I understood more deeply than any other student that got an A+. Not only that, but I remember it and I put it into practical uses, what can I say? Some people are slow, but deep. Back to Einstein's theory, mass and energy. So let's think about our mass, the belly fat, belly fat, and, and let's think about exercise. When our muscles are moving, they're creating energy, and that energy somehow you know causes up to causes up us to breathe faster causes us to sweat and 
the result is that our mass, the belly fat, goes turns into energy and that energy leaves us. We use it to move our muscles, to to do things, and it also leaves in our breath. You you can't see the oxygen we're breathing in and you can't see the carbon dioxide we're breathing out. So those are like energy, invisible. So think about that. Be logical. When you're trying to motivate yourself to exercise, think about that, that belly that should be flat, that feels so good when it's flat. I know. And, and move your muscles, any muscle, a group of muscles, two groups, all your muscles at the same time, and that'll create energy and make your mass, your belly, turn into the energy. I hope I'm explaining this well. Somebody out there is a lot smarter than me probably. Maybe you could explain it better, but I hope you get the gist of it.